to whom much is given much is also expected in as much our chinese supplier is claiming to be wiser than we the buyer then we are going to be showing them that we are also much wiser than them so in today's tutorial we are going to be looking at how to ask for a refund from Pindodo, which is also called pdd right so if this is your first time of joining my community if this is your first time of seeing a youtube video like this and if this is your first time of seeing our videos this is samuel joshua and here is called zion hub logistics we discuss everything that have to do with mini importation arbitrage e-commerce and how you can make money online so feel free to join our community by subscribing to our youtube channel it is free to subscribe and on facebook it is also free to follow us on facebook just like the page so whenever we post another helpful content like this youtube will be able to notify you that zion of logistics has already posted another video and if you are watching from tiktok please just follow us immediately all right so without further more i do let's dive into the tutorial so a supplier has failed to deliver one of my products that i bought from pindodo and you can see that here is the supplier this is my conversation i've reminded this supplier times without number to ship this item why is he delaying my item he keeps reading my message and nothing has been done so in today's tutorial now we are going to be asking for a refund so what do you need to do now if you don't have a google translator do what to translate um download the google translator so we are going to be coming over to my profile here once you click on it you can see that this is marked as pending and where we have this moving icon these are some items that i bought with my atm card i also have a video on how you can buy on pindodo with your atm card i'm going to be leaving it under the description button of this video so you can just click on that drop down arrow you will see the video there so that is the first one and secondly you can see where we have one i bought this same item the same time which other suppliers has delivered which i've already received it why this is on pending so i'm going to be clicking on this first pending here and you can see that this is the details of this transaction here and it has not been delivered so i need to ask for a refund now and buy it from another supplier so what i want to do now is to do what to screenshot this page once i screenshot it i will head over to my google translator to translate this page so you'll be able to understand everything i'm doing clearly right this is my google translator here make sure that this default language is at detected language and english here so you want to click on this camera icon here then you click on this gallery so you upload what you want to translate and automatically is going to be translating this page for you all right so this is the um item i want to buy you can see that is a shirt so here you are going to be clicking on request for a refund this first option here that is what we need right so i want to go back to my pdd then click on this guy here so once you clicked on it it's going to take you to this option here i want you to take this thing one after the other all right now here let me screenshot the whole page again go back to my google translator then do what translate this page it's as very simple as that so this is the last translate here you want to cancel it then upload the new one that we just um screenshotted now so the first one here is what we have the first option as application type which is i want to ask for a refund no need to return all right so the second option said reason for application select the option for this application the reason why you want to act for your refund and the third one is the amount for the refund and what they what the instructions you can see it here which is the instructions here then the picture is the most you upload the picture because they want to be sure the reason why you ask for a refund so what you are going to be doing what is to go back to your this home page where you shattered the supplier here so this is our conversation here so you can see 
you want to translate um you want to screenshot this page here so you'll be able to upload it as a reference that this supplier is not responding to you so you click on this guy here so let's quickly ask for this refund now you want to select this first option here this is the default one that is there then secondly you want to click on the reason that you are asking for a refund they want to know the reason why you are asking so you want to screenshot this page again go back to translate this same page once you translate it you will select the reason that is suitable for what you are doing now you can see it here the first option says i don't need it anymore then the second one says see cheaper item then wrong product deliver so you just want to select the one that suits your um refund status so i'm going to be sticking around with this not shipped as promised that's the second to the last option here so i'm going to be selecting this then once i select it the amount of this item will be displayed there then you can just write a few keywords here that the supplier failed to deliver the item right just wrote um the supplier failed to deliver the item on time i'm going to translate it here then automatically it will fill in that box then we can proceed okay now i've given the instruction why i'm asking for a refund and the last option here is to upload the picture so you want to click on your camera icon then select the second one to upload from your gallery then you click on allow then you screenshot this conversation here which um will stand as an evidence then you click on this red icon and you select it here make sure that it's selected then you click on this red icon here automatically this item has successfully been uploaded the last option here is to click on this red button here and your application is submitted successfully so you can see the notification from alip that this money has been refunded all right so this is the simple process that we just did now and they are going to be notifying this supplier that have already asked for a refund because he or she failed to deliver that item now that i've already gotten my refund here you can see that it's going to be changing this dashboard that um, i'm not having any pending item to be delivered this is the simple process to ask for a refund on pindodo i've recorded a video on how to ask for a refund on 1688 and on taobao i'm also going to be leaving the video under the description button of this video so you want to make sure that you go and watch these tutorials as well so you'll be able to learn i am also available for procurement if you want me to help you buy your item from um 1688 any chinese website i'm also available then we are available for trainings and mentorship if you have issues if you have questions relating to what i've spoken or importation at large we also we are also available for consultation and mentorship so you'll be able to guide you on how to do things thank you for watching this video to the very end i will definitely see you in my next tutorial